Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing a really quick video. Um, and I'm not supposed to be doing this while I'm working because I'm working, but I can't get it into my virtual phone. So, <laughs> whatever. Um, it's a quick uh, video about the recent uh, election result. With, or not election result. Or uh, basically, Joe Biden has won all the electoral votes needed to be president. Um, I have mixed feelings about that. You know, obviously I don't want Joe Biden or Donald Trump to be president. Um, now, one thing I do think is that the media will be needing something else to focus on. Uh, and controversially, I also believe that with uh, the virus stuff, they're... Some of that stuff, I think, has the potential to go back to go into the background. Now, I know some people disagree with me, but that's fine. Um, which will cause, you know, people to not think about it as much, hopefully, in the media. Because the, uh, it, it's been very politicized in the United States. Now, other countries are different, but um, it's been used as a political pawn with both parties against each other. I'm hoping that it actually is the case where they don't talk about that as much. Um, another thing that, so in a way I'm relieved is what I'm saying. And all this Russia stuff over and over again, it's like, oh my God, you know, we won't hear about that anymore. We'll have to have some other enemy to focus on or something, you know? Um, so at the same time, I agree with Joe Rogan. He said, you know, the thing about Trump winning would be because he pisses off a lot of people he does, doesn't like. He he said he would be relieved. I, I agree with Joe Rogan 100% about the whole thing. Relieved in a way that Joe Biden is president, even though he's not, you know, he's fucking awful in a lot of, so many ways. But also kind of like if Trump would have won, it pisses off the people he doesn't like. So it's kind of the same. I have the same opinion as Joe Rogan about the election. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. But um, another thing that I wanted to comment on is the, uh, the election fraud. So this is my opinion about election fraud. I think every election in the United States has some, some amount of election fraud um, going on. And uh, I'm doing this. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, I won. Okay. Um, Every, every uh, election has election fraud in America. Um, we don't always call it election fraud. You can call it a dis, disenfranchisement. And I think both parties do it. Um, did that happen to Trump supporters in this election? Well, it's a sky blue. Of course it probably did. You know, there's probably areas where they did, you know, pulled some shenanigans, the DNC. Um, and of course, the other side probably did too. You know, they... They made fake shit up to get people not to go to the polls and all sorts of stuff. See, that's the thing that people don't understand. Um, I really thought this through, and that's kind of what more, this video is more about, is that it's not necessarily... We can use the word election fraud, or we could use disenfranchisement or, you know, tampering with the election, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a lot of semantics and a lot of... Uh, different uh, terminology that means different things. So yes, I believe probably the Republicans and the Democrats both did things in various areas that would discourage or encourage certain their, you know, different different people to come out or not come out. So like the marker or Sharpie gate, it's possible, you know. Um just the same way as like them, you know, telling people, just like uh, I think they did this in one of the elections, they told a certain amount of people, oh, what's this? Um, they cert told a certain amount of people not to vote on Tuesday and on Wednesday or some shit a few years ago. The Republicans told people that or in like primarily black communities. I can't remember when this was. See, that kind of shit happens all the time. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying both parties do it. It happens all the time. Is it election fraud? I mean, I heard about JFK. 
like some of the mafia areas in Chicago, like pulling some shit to get uh, JFK elected. This has been going on for probably about as long as the United States has been a country. So if anybody wants to deny that, the mainstream media is like, that's not true. It's like, I heard on NPR today, it's like, that is not true. It was like very Orwellian. It was like, holy shit. Like that is not, they said that is not true. Like they actually said it without giving any evidence. I think it was about Sharpie gate or one of those things. So that's really all I got to say. I don't, I don't support either party. I think they both need to be destroyed. <laughs> I think both parties need to be destroyed. Honestly, I would love to have all the parties abolished, you know, or not, not all the parties, but you know, like I, like I said before, I voted libertarian and green various times. Cause I, I agree with both philosophies on a certain level. You know, I'm a weirdo, you know, I'm libertarian, social Democrat, fucking whatever, you know, I mean, mix all these things together. I just believe in personal freedoms, but I believe that corporations, you know, can exploit people. So I, you know, it's, it's kind of this weird balancing act. That's why I watch people like Kyle Kalinske or Jimmy Dore, even if we have some disagreements about what to do with the virus stuff. Um, so that's all I got to say. Peace out.